Crescent Medical is developing the V-Protect Luminal Shield, a new focal treatment that is specifically designed to treat soft, lipid-rich plaques, including asymptomatic, vulnerable plaques. Professor Patrick Sarais is here to talk about this novel treatment approach. Professor, can you please give us an update on the animal studies done so far with the V-Protect Luminal Shield? In general, first we can say that the diameter stenose was a little bit better than the bare metal stand. Uh, it's not statistically at that stage, but there is no concern about diameter stenose. The loss was less than in the bare metal stand. No concern about the loss. Great analysis of injury score, very good result, very reassuring about the fact that this stand does not induce uh, an injury score. Well, that certainly sounds like a good start. Where do you see V-Protect going from here? And how is it different from existing devices? The V-Protect Luminal Shield exists in its first generation. That's what we have uh, described. That's the basic instrument of the self-expanding uh, nitinol, quote-unquote, stent. A stent is balloon expandable and you are using a very high pressure to expand the stent. The self-expanding will have a, a radial force which is quite low. I don't want to go into detail, but we are talking about something which is 200, 300 millimeter of mercury. It's very gentle. With the nanotechnology, we are able to create a nanoporous surface which is more friendly for the endothelial cells. And potentially it will have drugs which are there to rebuild and not uh, to inhibit the healing process. We don't need a, a classical uh, eluting drug in the style of uh, cytostatic or cytotoxic, but a rational approach would be to try to reinforce the thin cap. So based on those characteristics, when would the V-Protect Luminal Shield be a suitable treatment? When we are uh, dealing with a non-flow limiting lesion, um, intermediate lesion, soft lesion, then probably this uh, technology of self-expanding uh, shield uh, could be preferable uh, for, uh, to the uh, uh, balloon-expandable drug eluting stent. So V-Protect may be appropriate for soft lesions and even for non-flow limiting lesions. In the big picture, what role do you see for V-Protect and V-Predict, the prescient diagnostic technology in the cath lab of the future? You are going to provide the interventional uh, cardiologist with uh, superb, high-tech, uh, very precise, uh, I believe, which, uh, of which the capacity can still be increased. You are coming with a device uh, which in all jargon we are no longer calling uh, a stand but a shield and that's uh, something new. So I think it's uh, up to us to design uh, the, right, the right trial approach uh, combining diagnostic and treatment and to prove in outcome may be mainly based on mortality and, and morbidity uh, that your guess and your approach is the right one. Thank you, Professor Sarais, for telling us about these amazing advances in cardiac care.